This module will provide a high-level introduction to Chapter 4 of the PMBOK Guide, the Project Integration Management Knowledge Area. Project Integration Management is the first knowledge area described in the PMBOK Guide and contains seven of the 49 processes. In this chapter, we will introduce processes from all five process groups. In initiating, we will cover the develop charter process. In planning, we will cover the develop project management plan process. In executing, we will cover direct and manage project work and manage project knowledge processes. In monitoring and controlling, we will cover two processes, monitor and control project work and perform integrated change control. And in closing, we will cover the close project or phase process. To better understand the purpose of these seven project integration management processes, it is useful to remind ourselves what it means to integrate. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines integrate as to form, coordinate, or blend into a functioning or unified whole. So what does this mean for project management? Since project management has many different subjects, managing scope, schedule, budget, quality, risk, and others, it is important these constraints of project management are properly balanced. The processes of integration management will help to bring together all of the other processes from the other knowledge areas. For example, the develop project management plan process will help bring together the 23 other processes from the project planning process group. The direct and manage project work and manage project knowledge processes will help bring together the eight other processes from the project executing process group. And the monitor and control project work and perform integrated change control processes will help to bring together the 10 other monitoring and controlling processes. These processes will be visited iteratively throughout the project lifecycle and will interact with the processes within their own process group as well as with each other. The processes of this chapter can be a little challenging to learn the first time around. Think of the old paradox, which came first, the chicken or the egg? It may be confusing to learn the integration processes before you learn the individual processes that they are designed to integrate. Because you have yet to learn all of the nuances of these individual processes, there will likely be some inputs or outputs that will not fully make sense. However, there are some important overarching concepts found in integration management that are useful to learn before learning the other processes. Therefore, this chapter of the PMBOK Guide is useful to cover before exploring the other knowledge areas. However, it is also useful to review after learning the processes from the other knowledge areas. It will likely make more sense the second time around. Some additional facts worth noting about project integration management are that it is the only knowledge area that contains processes in all five process groups. It is also useful to know that many exam questions are likely to come from this knowledge area since it is helping to bring together the other processes and set some general interactions across the process groups.